Hi, I'm Jerry Regula, product engineer for McWayne Ductile. In this episode of Iron Strong, we will be CAD welding on ductile iron pipe to bond the joints for cathodic protection. How you doing? I'm JR, coming at you from beautiful South Dakota. Today we are going to talk about CAD welding and the steps to complete the project. The first step is to ensure you have the proper equipment, including safety gear. The wire must be stranded wire with an insulated coating. The size of the wire is project specific and determined by a corrosion engineer. The charge may be a prepackaged sealed charge or individual parts. The prepackaged charges are more popular as they are easier to handle and less susceptible to moisture. An electronic igniter for the prepackaged charges is also required. Conventional charges require the metal plate to be placed in the mold, then the powder poured in separately. The box or mold is standard, reusable, should remain clean and in good working condition. Insulation patches must be kept in warm, dry storage and ready for use. The process begins by preparing the surface. Remove all paint, dirt, or debris and ensure there is a flat surface. Position the box, charge, and in this case a number two stranded copper wire with coating and the ignition wire, which is connected to the electronic igniter. A good pro tip is to apply pressure to the top of the box to ensure a good seal. Press and hold the electronic igniter switch until you see ignition. Hold the box in place until the flame is extinguished. Disconnect the ignition wire and remove the box. Always clean the inside of the box prior to next use. Then allow the weld to cool and remove any excess slag. Striking the weld with a hammer will verify the weld. A conductivity test may then be completed to ensure the joint is properly bonded. Insulation patches or a specified coating may be installed covering all bare metal surfaces. Standard cement lining has been specified for this project. When linings other than cement are specified, pre-installed weld plates are installed on the spigot ends to reduce heat penetration to the special linings such as an epoxy or glass lining for examples. V-Bio Enhanced Polyethylene Encasement has been specified for this particular project. As you can see, the guys are properly overlapping the V-Bio at the joints and applying the poly tape for the DIPRA Method A installation guide. The soil in the location of this water line is corrosive. However, the corrosion mitigation steps taken by the design engineer ensure longevity. This water line will be providing service for future generations. Thanks for watching this episode of Iron Strong. Always remember, work hard, work smart, and work safe.